Is this good? Go to sin? Yeah. Get all the dolls. So watch. I'm gonna get all the dolls like this. So let's move some of this stuff out of the way. Yeah. So. Oh, boy. <laughs> boop boop. Yeah. Help! Yeah. Help! Yeah. Help! Yeah. Then you foam it. Collect all the dough you can. Not missing a single cub. Yeah. Cub. Cub. Like there. Perfect. Now I thought we would make caprese on a stick. Now caprese on a stick means cheese on a stick. The word, the word caprese means either mozzarella or caviella. So we're going to make caprese on a stick. So usually that would be like a margarita with tomatoes and cheese and, and uh, uh, basil. So you can either do it with margarita. Margarita is just a simple piece with either tomato, cheese, and, and a basil. But today we're doing the same thing, but we're making caprese on a stick. So we're going to use three colors of dough. So we're going to use the white dough. The red dough okay. and the green dough. Now, the green stands for basil, the red stands for tomato, and the white stands for cheese. I think you can see how it's all coming together. So, this is like kebab. So, stick, another fancy word for stick is kebab. So, these are caprese. Kebabs. This is a very fancy thing to go along with vodka in New England, whiny, vodka, Korea, and ice. So we're going to flatten it. And the same thing I said when we made the kambayas, we have to make sure we roll the dough. But roll it barely to the edge because if you roll it all the way to the edge then you get air holes so make sure you roll the dough very thin otherwise it will not be very nice to look at to make sure that your dough is a circle and roundy. So that's how you do it. Now we're not going to roll it up. What we're going to do is we're going to make, these are very big, so we can just, just cut with our fingers. And then make a ball. So just make a little ball, and then, this is the straw, you see the loop-de-loop, you put the thing in the middle. This is something I learned from my Aunt Amy, to always center it perfectly. So then, slide it. So make sure that your dough is on there. Then we're going to put some tomato on there. So then you roll out your tomato dough. Be very careful because Play-Doh can really get dry fast. Then you want to flatten your dough. So flatten your tomato Dough, and then you want to roll it. So you roll it. So make sure you roll it. So when you're rolling dough, you always want to remember what you always want to do it on a nice surface. A wood surface would be the best surface. So it all depends because the last time I made this video and it didn't quite work out 
is when the white bulk was moving all around like peas in a pod. So, blue. But now we're going to roll the dough out. Perfectly. So as you can see, that is wonderful. Now we're going to cut the end of dough out. So, cut. And then make a ball. And then slide that on. So you're making a pattern. So cheese, tomato, basilico. And the word basilico in English translates to basil. And the word in Italian is basilico. As you can see, that's perfect. Now, you want to make your basil stick. So with this dough that you got newly, you want to make your basil. So make sure that you want to get fresh basil because if you go to the store then they might not have fresh basil. So everyone knows that making it homemade is always the more wonderful and fresh way. We want fresh flavor here, so get with the program here. So make sure your dough is rolled out thin enough. Now, make sure when you roll other doughs, make sure you put your other two aside, because if you leave them here, and you will roll in the doughs, and you get an ale pocket. And then you would roll over your doughs, and they would get ruined. So you have to move them. Move them aside. Ooh, let's separate them in case they sink. So with would be tip. Believe me, it's worth it. Now we're going to cut on the bias. Cut. Not too big, not too small, I would say. Then you make a ball shape. Then you slide the ball on your stick. Whoops. That broke, that's alright, it can happen. Okay, then you do another cheesy reason. So you get over your cheese dough and you keep cutting and cutting and cutting. So you cut cheese, you roll it, and then you put it on. So it goes in the pattern. Cut, put it on. Cut, put it on. And remember, if you forget the pattern, then it's going to be wacky. Or you can, if you don't want to do it again, if you're too tired, it's been all that work, making a mistake, you can just pretend it's right. So it's cheese, tomato, basil. So now we need a tomato. So, I'm just going to split, split, split that. And then cut a slice of na 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 and um and joke in the word for dope is na na that's a really wonderful and good word so then take that word and someone made up by nana and they put na 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 so no it's na na sometimes the syllable and joking words are not the same as what it is English. So if it's too big, make sure that it you get it small. So then put your dough there, and then we're gonna get some basil. So then cut a slice. So the green is our basil, the red is our tomato. And the uh, white is a cheese, and I ruined that one, but no big deal, because I can roll it into a ball. If it's too big, you have to break it apart. 
they're willing to be too big or too small. And sometimes they can be different size, like this one's different size today, but make sure it's perfect. So, then we need more white, more red cheese. The Italian word for cheese is formaggio. So the word for soft, soft and delicate cheese is a pasta filata cheese because of the texture of pasta. So then you want to put your dough or your cheese. <laughs> it's really dough, but I'm substituting cheese. There. Then we're going to do some tomato. So then cut a slice. I think of this color as the red clouds from the new legend that we have produced. So then take that dome and save it, then you can break it apart. It was really easy to break it apart unless it's undercooked. So the reason why you have to cook pasta is because it's no good eating raw. Fish, it, you can eat fish raw, that's really good raw, but never ever meat raw, like lamb or shoulder or baby back ribs. Nothing meat raw, you can eat raw. So now go down to our last bonnet. So take our last bonnet of dough and then you foam it. Oops, it's too big. Make sure you do it perfectly. That is how you do caprese on a stick. You don't want to eat this, and I'm sure you won't, but it's beautiful. So this is how you do caprese on a stick. And look, this reminds me of Christmas because you got the green, you got the red, the green is in the tree, the red is in the Holly, 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 so the red is in the holly, and then the red and green are the Christmas colors, really. And then there's the white for the cheese. So this is how you do caprese on a stick.